Hi everyone, it's Red here, and today we're going to go over a Puppet Create tutorial. Now this is going to be a very janky, wonky ass puppet tutorial, but I'm just going to go over the techniques and some of the things I like to do um, when creating a puppet. So we're just going to go into new element, new scene, blah blah blah, usual. Um, so the first thing you'll notice that I do right away is go for the curve. Um, option. The reason why is because this allows me to get the best shape um, for whatever I'm trying to do, be it a head, body, arms, anything. You can basically mould it into any shape and then kind of, um, you know, manipulate it from there. The first thing I would always say to someone if they're making a puppet is one, get a perspective up, so a picture of something you kind of want it to look like. Today we're making a fish, a koi, the character is actually called koi. Um, so I, to the right of me, I've got pictures um, of koi so that I can, you know, see the relative shape and how they are. Obviously we're going to go for a, a cartoon um, 1920s style koi. Um, but you, you get my idea. So before you even get a puppet into the scene, you basically want to create every aspect of it. Head, body, arms, feet, legs, that sort of thing. Um, you want to get that perfect before you even try and implement um, a puppet. Just because if you're unhappy with the design, it's so much easier to go back and change the design versus constantly going back into the puppet and changing how that looks. So yes, um, as we're seeing here, the game doesn't allow for a lot of dynamic shapes, you have to kind of create it yourself. Uh, we're going for that classic 1920s cartoon eye with the little divot um, cut out of it. That's kind of how every character that I make has, especially for my mascot Red. Um, that you've probably seen if you watch the channel often or if you've been to a live stream. So yeah, we're just going over the eyes, copy the assets where you can uh, to keep the thermometer down. Um, I think I hate this head shape, so I'm pretty sure I change it right about, yep, so it's changed. I actually think I hate this head shape as well. Um, don't worry about going back and changing certain aspects. The game is actually really good for allowing you to change individual things. For instance, we've obviously got the eyes and now we're making the mouth down but we can easily go back into the head and delete it where we want. So as I said, definitely use the, the curve tool where you can. It allows for a very good dynamic shape um, and definitely uh, allows you to create shapes that would be hard to get by doing it by hand. Um, I use a control. I really hate motion controls. I'm not entirely sure how the... Uh, how the mo uh, the the actual I don't know what they're called the motion controls not the not the controller but the the ones with the lights on them I don't know so yeah what you're seeing here is basically me rejigging the head several times until I get it to a place where I want it um there's several ways to do this um I like to simply just delete and remake um at my leisure um there's other ways to implement certain body parts into the one puppet. For instance, if you were to go into the stamp tool, um, L1 and square, and then there's a, there's a way to make it blend in even better. I like, but sometimes it doesn't look as good and I kind of like individual pieces rather than everything being on the same sculpt. Might be a, a bit worse for your, um, for your thermal but you know it's it's definitely more ideal so now we're actually going to talk about the puppet now what you're seeing here is i'm basically scoping into the puppet and i am making each and in every individual body part thin so that it's easier for me to scope in easier for me to see but also so that when you're attaching your very own body parts they're not going to come through what you've made so for instance, um, say my, say I was making arms that were thinner than what these arms are. If I make them 
if I basically just chop them down, make them thin, I can scope in and put my thing in there. So what you're about to see is I'm making the head smaller. There you go. I'll grab, uh, make sure your puppet can still move, still walk all right, they haven't goofed up. So then grab your asset, scope in from behind it, then place where you want the head to be. Basically I want it perfectly right there. Let go of it and scope out, then test it right away. Make sure that it uh, forms with the rest of the puppet, it's not hanging off, um, and it, you know, it works. So right away, you've already got you know your puppet you've got your head working and um, basically what I'm going to do now is start making the body Um I'm not going into super detail in the tutorial mainly because well quite frankly I think I got a bit lazy because I was like right okay it took me ages to make that bloody head let's just fly in uh, I will end up going over body parts at a later date and kind of trying to um, make them look nicer, but I think for the sake of the tutorial, um, we're just going to, to be honest, f tutorial, it's not really a tutorial, it's more of a really bad tips and tricks. Um, someone took the time to teach me all these things, and I am absolutely horrible at parroting it back. Um, but you know, it's it's sometimes quite good for inspiration to see what other people do. So what you want to do for the torso and the stomach is make them individual. Um, because they need to move individually, otherwise your character will look very static. Um, and it won't look good at all. So what we're doing here is I'm basically just lining this up. Even though this part is going into the stomach, we will eventually fix that. Um... I kind of goofed it there, so I need to move that out of the way. I need to put in the stomach first because it's bigger. Uh, just trying to line that up and then go in and basically try and scope this in to where I want it. And you'll notice it's starting to kind of bulge out because it's um, one bit's too big. So then I'll go in, I'll basically cut off the torso so that that is just the torso and then I'll make the stomach bigger so that it covers it and it looks more part of it. You can, of course, go back in and shape it nicer, which we do eventually do, but I'm just making sure that it's all working and in place first. So let's see. I think we actually come up with our first goof. Yep. So obviously I didn't sit there and look at it long enough to show you, but I'll just tell you, always make any pieces that you... Well, there you go. It's, it's messing up there. Always make sure that you scope in to the individual pieces and make them non-collidable. Because if they are collidable, uh, they'll keep like pushing each other apart and it'll just kind of disfigure your puppet. Uh, I think one thing that I don't realise is it's the fin on the back of the chest that's messing up. I think I realise that now. Yep, that's the only one that's... Make that non-collidable. And then, boom, your puppet should work perfectly because it's not colliding with all the other aspects of it. There you go. It's it's looking fine. So, yes, recap while I'm doing whatever the hell I'm doing. Whenever you're making a puppet, go in, make sure all its extremities are thinner um, and less, uh, smaller so that you can scope in, but big enough so that you can actually see it. I think what I'm trying to do here is I'm starting to shape the um, the torso so that it looks a bit more characterish. Um, so yeah, if you go into the stamp tool, you can up the blend option. Now, the blend option can be used to blend certain pieces together, but it can actually also be used as a delete mechanic so that you can make it um, blend in without actually making it sharp, if you know what I mean. So I'm using a square here. If I wasn't using a blend mechanic, it would, and I would have to go right up to the object and press into it, and that would cut it, but it would make the surface flat because it's a square. If you use the blend option, it basically gives you a bit of free range to keep your stencil away from it while also changing the shape. So now you can see he's got a wee bit of a pouch belly. 
he is a fish, you know, they don't really worry about setups, so that is fine. What am I doing now? Oh, I think I start to work on arms. The arms end up being a... Um, I end up just... Because the, the, this character that I'm making, um, he's not going to be a playable character, at least not right now. He's more of an NPC that talks to the main character, Red. Um, which is the little white character that you saw at the start and it's also the icon for basically every channel that I have including like Twitter and stuff hashtag plug um, so yeah he's just going to be talking but you're actually going to see a technique that I was talking about where I've scoped into the top of the arm uh, that that wing that I've added or um, fin I should say he's not a bloody chicken um, that is now a part of that arm uh, you can kind of rejig the inner wiring um, to make it where, you know, where these go is this These are basically the bones of the puppet. I don't actually think I stick around too long to go over that. Worst tutorial ever. Yep, I end up just coming back out of it because I can't. I don't like the placement. I think I end up just deleting the arms uh, and placing the, the wing anyway. Or the... I don't know why I keep calling that a fucking wing, a flipper, fin, whatever. He's a, he's a koi fish, uh, chicken now apparently. So yeah, don't worry about um, getting it right first time. Even I've made a few puppets already, and I I still never get it right. Even when I was being taught by someone that's really good with puppets, I was still getting it constantly wrong. The the best thing to do is just honestly take your time. Don't get frustrated. I understand that it can be frustrating. It really can. Um, my original character that I was so excited to make um, took me several hours just to get it right. And even then, uh, I made that when the game first came out. That was like February 14th. It wasn't until about a week ago um, where I went and got, you know, the character finally right. So yeah, now I, I get fed up. And I'm like, you know what, fuck this, I can't be arsed. I, I try to like put a sort of kind of bone structure going through the fin to make it look better. I think I get annoyed and just cancel out on that. So, <laughs> so don't worry about getting mad and changing your mind. Um, that's going to happen. Uh, like I said, this isn't a playable character, so I can kind of get away with being a wee bit lazy with certain things. Um, I end up looking at it and I'm like, oh god, that's just crap. So I end up just deleting it. Um, yep, I get mad and I just, I just start deleting it and I delete the puppet and it's it's a mess. Sorry for if you actually came here for proper information. So yeah, I end up just sticking it to his body. Um, because again, he is just a, a NPC that's going to talk to Red rather than be playable. Although he is perfectly playable, which we'll skip to in a minute. I just want to go over some tips uh, that we may have may have missed. So yes, um, always use your curve tool. Curve tool is the best way to get interesting shapes. Uh, take your time. Make sure that every time you add in... Um, a new piece to your puppet that you always test it out. Uh, a lot of people like to just test out the play mode that's in the, the actual toolbar. I like to just go into the actual play mode and then reset it. Um, I feel like that's easier. Uh, I think I'm just doing a wee bit of decorating now, making sure he's more fish-like, giving him more fins going down his back. <laughs> I think I go in and eventually give them shorts and stuff. I think actually that's what I'm trying to do now. The camera can be a wee bit tricky sometimes, especially when you're... I'm making characters that are really, really sh uh, small in size, not even just short, but just, like, small characters. Um, and sometimes when I'm trying to do it, when I activate, like, a, a new um, shape, it, the shape is, like, massive compared to the character, so I constantly need to shrink it down. Um, but yes, if you don't want to create individual parts, what you're seeing me do here is basically I just scope in to the certain part that I want to add to, and then I just create the shape onto that. So L1 and X to scope in, it'll then give you the option to look at different shapes to add on. 
uh, basically what I did was I just put two little rings, kind of like Sonic shoes, or um, very classic. Mo all my stuff is based on kind of 1920s uh, hand-drawn animation, and um, very kind of silly and surreal uh, for the game that I'm coming out with, uh, Within Dreams. So the, the mechanics are definitely there to make. Um, there's a lot of puppet interfaces. I really am terrible at tutorials, I'm sorry. If there's any question, I can I could definitely answer any question that you've got for me. Um, but actually sitting down and talking about it over already pre-recorded footage, I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> So yeah, if you have actual uh, questions on how to make puppets, please feel free. Um, I was very desperate when I was trying to make my first puppet um, because I, I don't think the tutorial in the game is actually helpful for making proper puppets. Um, it wasn't until some really nice gentleman on Twitter decided to take hours out of his day to teach me um, and that was how I started learning. Uh, so trust me when I when I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to try and teach as many other people which is what I was trying to do here but I have failed um, but I'm definitely more than happy to um, go over any questions that people have now we're basically just back onto designing scoping in and making sure that your um, puppet works is always ideal uh, we're just going over some design choices here now one thing that I will say when it comes to painting your puppet um, it is easier to just go to the paint tool and just paint individual parts but the issue with that is if your character has let's say if you think of a koi it's got white and black and gold bits all over it which you'll see me do um, in a second so yeah, I basically, so what you've seen there was I basically painted the entire puppet right away. Um, but if you do that, you can't give it individual um, elements. So you, you can't paint, you know, certain certain aspects onto it, um, which is annoying. So what you're going to see here is I'm basically going over each an, an individual part and I'm painting it white um, from that tweak menu. And what that allows me to do is when I want to add, say, a little orange spot to it, like you would see in a koi, it allows me to, versus if I had painted the entire puppet, for whatever reason, you're not allowed to paint over it because it's kind of set as, um, oh, this puppet is this colour, so it can't be changed. Uh, so you always want to scope in and then go to the little spray can um, in the tools bar, and that'll allow you to go over each individual bit. You can actually snap to the fish or snap to surface which is easier. I don't do it here for some reason but basically I'm just going to go over and decorate the fish in certain aspects. I take a wee bit of time with it so let's let's skip a wee bit ahead to where I'm close to being finished. Okay so now we're just painting on the black bits uh, we're just trying to get it to look as good as possible um, Painting the fish, uh, or pa painting your character, is definitely what brings them to life. They can look as they can look as amazing as possible in a sculpt, but until you actually make their character model coloured in and um, dynamic to what they would be like in real life, you really get no uh, no true kind of aspect. So if we look at him now, he's pretty much done. He looks, gr I mean, I think he looks great. He's, a bit lacking detail in some areas, um, but that's definitely something that I would go in and change myself. Now I've basically just put my main character red next to him to get height adjustments, make sure that he kind of conforms to kind of what I'm looking for. Next to red, he looks pretty good, uh, they look fairly different. Um, but while kind of still maintaining the, the same art style. Um, so yeah, he's pretty much done. I apologise if this was just the worst tutorial ever. I'm not actually, even though I do streaming, I'm not that good at just talking to myself with <laughs> no, no one watching in a sense. I know that's weird. Um, if you've got any questions, honestly, feel free to ask. 
someone took the time to teach me so I will answer any questions. I basically know all the information but explaining it uh, over pre-recorded footage is difficult. So yes, if you want to get a hold of me, Red Sikatsu on Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Hope that hope you enjoyed this and good luck with making your puppets. Thank you.